just got everything set up to film and this little nugget is awake right now. Her first two little teeth popped through the other day so I feel real bad for her. She's uh, having a hard time. I think she might go back to sleep though. Let's try this out. Okay, I haven't filmed with like a background and like lights on for a little while. I've been filming like around the house. So this is a little weird for me and my mic is all the way over here. Let's hope this works out. Dude, this is where all my brushes have been this whole time. They've been sitting on this desk in here. Okay. I also just found these. I've been looking for these forever. These are the ColourPop freckle pens. We might use those today. So I went out with my girlfriend last night. Um, I had a babysitter. Woo! It was amazing. Um, so I grabbed the Love Fest Huda Beauty palette and I dove into this one right here. Hence my purple background. I thought it would be fun to kind of recreate this on camera because I haven't done like a colorful look in a while and you guys did request it. And then I also have this. I mean, look at all those glitters. This is the Lemonhead LA, um, what is this called? Space Case 2 Remixed. And there's some like really fun purpley glitters in there. So I thought we would do an eye look and this is an eye look that would look like it's best suited for brown eyes, but I obviously do not have brown eyes and I still think it looks really pretty. Purple eyeshadows bring out like the truest browns in your irises, so it is a great color if you have brown eyes, but you can also wear it if you don't have brown eyes. So we're gonna go ahead and create this tutorial. I'm so stoked to put glitter on my face, it's been a little while. So um, I will link everything I talk about in the description box below, but let's get started. Did I bring concealer in here? Oh, no. We're just gonna use foundation as concealer because I'm a little too lazy to get up and to be honest, this stuff works super well. Oh, it just splooged all over the place. It's like way too soon. This is the IT Cosmetics CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum and it's got FPF, SPF 50, which is really great. So um, I have been wearing, it's actually a little too tan for me right now. So um, I uh, won't have that problem soon actually. I'm gonna sh talk to you guys about a product that I just bought and I am like, it's going to be literally life-changing if it actually works. And from the reviews and the before and after pictures, it does work. So, oh my gosh, this thing keeps like just jumping out of the container. So I've been wearing this as foundation the past few weeks, couple weeks, I should say. I forgot how much I loved this stuff. It covers really nicely while still like not looking or feeling too heavy, which I love. Oh, I think she went back to sleep. I'm using the Juvia's Place powder just to powder my eyes. What is missing in this palette is kind of like more like a, um, a cool toned, like blend out shade. So this is what it comes with. And I would be hoping for more of like an eggplanty shade to um, blend this out with. This one can be used in the crease, but something a little lighter than this would be nice. So it doesn't have that. So I'm gonna be going into the Truffle Eyeshadow Palette by Dose of Colors. And I'm gonna be using this one, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna be using a little bit of that one, it's like, I don't know, it's like, it's kind of a pinkish, but it's just not as warm as the tones in there. So I'm just going to, actually, no, I, no, I'm not. Hold that thought. I like can't find what I'm looking for. <laughs> I don't know where half my palettes are right now. I think like a lot of them are still kind of like not unpacked, but whatever. Um, we're gonna go in with the Too Faced Better Than Chocolate. I'm just looking for basically like um, an eggplant tone. So I'm gonna use this guy right here and I it doesn't look quite as purpley on the monitor. So I'm gonna mix that with the one above it. It's a little more purpley, but um, in person it, feels a little more purpley. So I'm gonna use this as my shade to blend out and I always like to start off with my lighter blend out shade just to kind of create that area for my darker shades to kind of blend into the crease. 
This is so weird talking about like what I'm doing. You guys asked for this. A few of you were like, I miss like the old school makeup tutorials. And I was just like, it feels like everyone is so much better at makeup than me these days that it's pointless to teach you guys how to do makeup because you're so good at it already. But why not? Uh, like, We'll just pay homage to the old school makeup videos today and I'll just pretend like you guys don't know what you're doing. I mean, hell, I don't either, so it's a party, right? And depending on how smoked out you want this, you would either use like a little bit smaller of a brush or even possibly larger. I'm kind of smoking it all the way out and then I'll get like smaller with it as we get towards the crease with the darker shades. The tan thing. So I wanna to talk to you guys about this stuff. Like this is not sponsored. I wish that they just sent me even free product to talk about them. That'd be so freaking cool. But I bought it the other day. It's called Permatan. My friend and neighbor told me about this a couple weeks ago, or I'd say like maybe a month ago at this point. And I couldn't believe what she was telling me and she showed it to me. So it is basically a nasal spray and mouth drops that permanently make you tan. So after you take them like once or twice a week or three times, I don't know what it is, how, I don't remember how often you take them, but um, all their science like for this is like on the website and you take them and at, when you take them, you should like hang out in the sun for like 30 minutes or whatever, but it like somehow increases like the mel melanin production in your skin. And the before and after pictures are like pretty crazy. And I don't know about you, but I get like, I get like super splotchy when I put on, um, I'm switching to a smaller brush, going in with more of this, um, darker shade up here. I'm kind of mixing the two together, but going with more of that one. Um, I, uh, get really, really splotchy when I put on fake tanner and not only that, but when I put it on and I don't know why I get splotchy. I do all the stuff I do. I've had spray tans. It gets splotchy. I've had spray tan people, multiple spray tan people like redo it because they thought it was like how they were putting it on. And it's really just like my skin. Even when I get a natural tan, it will even be a little splotchy on my stomach. And Nick will be like, what is that? And I'm like, honestly, I don't know. Like my skin just gets splotchy. This purple doesn't have a whole lot of pigment and there's a lot of fallout. So anyways, if this can make my skin less splotchy, I mean, shit, I'll even take the splotches if they're like natural. Um, but like spray tan just smells so bad also. So if I can get, um, you know, a natural looking tan by taking nasal drops and like, or like nasal spray and stuff. And I read all about it. It seems like perfectly safe. So it's just really interesting and I'm excited to try it out. So I bought, and it's like always sold out on their website. So my neighbor texted me the other day. She's like, oh, it's back in stock. Going to this guy, I'm gonna grab a bit of this one and see if it has a little bit more pigmentation. It's kind of more on the brown side, but we're gonna try it out anyways. Ooh, that must have a lot of pigment. Check that out. Yes, sir. I'm kind of like not putting it in here and just putting it out here because I want to make my eye look like larger rather than smaller. And if you put dark all the way in, it can kind of shrink your eye a little bit. So annoyed. I just had the eyeliner um, by Play Beauty, Peyton's line out here, and it was like a purple liner, and I I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it, but I can't find it now. I swear I just put it in this bag and brought it in here and now I can't find it. So whatever, we're gonna use Urban Decay's 24 seven glide on pencil and vice. You just wanna make sure you use one that like you can move around. So like don't use the NYX one that says like stay on blah, blah, blah. It's like a super long name, but yeah, don't use that one because it will be difficult to move around. We're working with what we've got. The idea of putting this down is to give a darker appearance to the eyeshadow in the pan because it looks like it's super dark, right? When you're looking at it. But if you just put it on, like I'll show you guys. Here it is in the pan, it looks pretty dark. 
Then here it is. Let me just put it on and then show you. There it is on a base. And then here it is not on a base. See, it's much darker. So that's what we want today. I'm just gonna soften that edge where this ends. Gonna go back in with our darker shade and kind of hide that line too because this isn't blending out as well as I wanted it to. You can see on that side. Now I'm gonna load it up onto my finger and just put it right on top. Going, kind of going like up over into my crease area too. Oh, it's so freaking pretty. So many glitters to choose from, I don't even know what to do. I think I'm going to use this one right here. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's like got like a hint of, um, it's got a hint of like blue purple in it. I think I'm just gonna take that on my finger and dab it on. really lightly because I'm not trying to take off the eyeshadow that we just did. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. This is like making my inner child happy right now and my inner five years ago when I used to wear glitter all the time. All in favor of us wearing more glitter, give this video a thumbs up. I'm gonna prime my face with Tatcha Silk Canvas and I'm focusing this mostly on the areas where I have like larger pores that sometimes makeup likes to just sit in and like exacerbate. For foundation, I did wanna show you this too. So these are the two that I really like. Um, this green one is oil free and matte, which I didn't actually realize. I just found it on the desk in here. So this is the one that I've been using recently and I think it might have a little bit more of a dewy finish, but I powder it anyway. So I'm gonna try this one today. It's actually too dark for me, but we're just gonna leave a sweater on and pretend that it isn't. This is the Huda Beauty foundation brush. I mentioned this foundation the other day. Do you guys hear the crickets in my animal room? Sorry, that is like, let me, let me close the door. The other day when I talked about this, oh my gosh, it's way too tan for me right now. When I talked about this um, foundation again, you were like, you guys were asking me how I applied it. So look how well that covers. Like that was super red a second ago. But yeah, I've been using um, a brush to apply foundation lately. Some foundations just don't like that. And then it just doesn't play nicely together and you have to switch it up, but. Right now, this is working for me. <sighs> I'm on my period right now, so I am breaking out. It's fun. I'm gonna use this random Ofra um, Absolute Cover Foundation as concealer right now. It's a little bit lighter and I just honestly don't feel like getting up. And I do this a lot. I use foundation as concealer under the eyes a lot. Sometimes I find that like actual concealer can be a little, like the ones that I have in my arsenal anyway, can just be a little too like cakey. I'm very shiny. Before we go in and powder, I am going to do a bit of contouring. This is the Huda Beauty Light Tan Tour Contour and Bronzer Cream. Whoa. If you guys happen to try the Permatan or if you have tried it before, let me know because I 
am really, really hoping that it works. Um, I used to date this guy a long time ago when I lived in LA and he would inject himself with this stuff that he told me that made him tan. And he was like, guys, he was like orange. I'm gonna go ahead and powder my entire face. So had that stuff not made him orange, I probably would have given it a shot because I would have given anything to be tan. Um, kind of still would. <laughs> so fingers crossed that this stuff works. I'll have to let you guys know how it goes. Last night I actually lined my entire lash line, but I'm actually just going to keep this to the outer like half. So like to here, and I'm gonna do all in the lash line, I'm smudging it in there, and then also um, the water line. While my um, camera was basically dying from heat exhaustion, I did my eyebrows and I used Cool Cookie and Dark Drapes by Urban Decay. I used their brow blade. It's like all I will ever use for my brows until something better comes along and I just don't see that happening. For blush, I'm gonna be using the Ciate London Glow to Blush in Deep Love. This is illuminating blush, so it gives a really nice glow to your cheeks. I just like love this stuff. It's like my new favorite, and I just don't put highlighter on lately. I've been just using this instead. Oh my gosh, I just found the Play Beauty liner that I was trying to find. Last night when I did this makeup look, I um, actually put way more blush on my left side than my right. And I noticed it when I was like, after I had parked and I was like doing last looks, you know, before I got out of my car and I was like, oh my gosh, I literally look like I put blush on one side of my face and not the other. See that glow? That is all from the, the blush. It just... Going back into our purple color from the Huda palette and just smudging this out. I cannot find my eyelash curler anywhere. Oh my gosh. We're gonna curl our lashes. Just putting on a bit of mascara as a base for our lashes. I try to do a very thin layer of this so then I can go in after I apply the lashes and add another layer to kind of mix and mesh them together. One of my friends left these sunglasses at my house like a long time. Actually, she left these at my house in Nashville. These are, I love you, Janessa, but these are like the ugliest sunglasses I have literally ever seen, almost. Are you guys ready for this? Oh my, oh my gosh, I just, I wanna die. These are so ugly. I'll save them here for you. So I have a freckle pen from ColourPop in two different shades. I've got soft brown and I've got dark brown. I think a little mixture of both is nice. So this is how it's shaped. I have never used this, but let's just see how it, goes. I um, don't know, but I feel like it would almost be nice if there was different sizes. I'm sure it's like easy to make like your own size or whatever, you know, but like it would just make it easier if you didn't have to do that. So this is the lighter shade. I'm curious to see if I'm gonna like this better or the Jason Wu one. I think I'm gonna like the Jason Wu one better. It like works super well and because it's like a little brush, it just looks really, really natural. And I love how when you tap it, you can tap a bunch of other places and if you drag your hand just the slightest bit, you make a not perfectly like round freckle, which is, I feel like the key, cause like freckles aren't ever really like perfectly round, are they? I mean, sometimes they probably are, but I feel like they're also not. Jason Wu ones are just like way easier to use. I might even have it right here. I do, it's called the freckled boy. So this one looks like this. Let me show you how this works. You do a few and then you go like this. 
It's hard to tell what's what at this point, but this is my favorite. So far, the ColourPop ones are cool. Maybe I can like, maybe those will grow on me. They're just, um, I think it's just easier to use the other one and make it look more natural. For lashes, I'm gonna be using the Ardell Professional Remy Lashes in 778. Look at the water bottle that I just recently got. And then my husband, Nick, put this beautiful sticker on the side of it. So I found a sticker while he was at work. It says wild style in like the lamest font you've ever seen. And I plastered it on the side of his water bottle. I'm gonna kind of mesh these together with really light strokes towards the base and kind of like wiggling it out as I go. Taking NYX lip liner in nude pink, I'm going to overline my lips. I'm gonna take this kind of mauve shade by ColourPop. It's in Fresh Kiss Lip Cream in BB Spice. Let me try and make my hair look not like roadkill to finish this off. Okay, here is the finished look. I actually like this better than what I did last night. I'm really loving that glitter. Oh, the glitter, I love it. Um, yeah, I'm loving the purple. I wish we could see what this looks like on brown eyes, but alas, there is like no Instagram filter that I can find that turns my eyes brown. A lot of them are like for brown eyes and then they add like a little bit of a hazel on there. Let's see what we, let, let, let me, let, let's just try. Mm. Pretty much none of these work. Okay, that's definitely not brown. That's creepy not brown. All right, so we'll never know what I'm gonna look like with brown eyes unless I actually put brown contacts in, which I don't even have any contacts right now, so it's not gonna happen. But what did you guys think? We did a traditional makeup tutorial. I'm a little rusty on them, but it was fun. Um, and yeah, here's, here's the final look. I'd love to see purple looks on you guys with brown eyes. Like, do you, if you have brown eyes, do you wear purple? Do you like it? What do you guys think? Bye, guys.